Hello, today is Endangered Species Day. It is May 15th, 2020, and I'm so excited to share with you our first virtual story time. Um, we are gonna read a book about polar bears. Um, the book is called, Where Do Polar Bears Live? And it is by Sarah L. Thompson. Before we get started, I wanna just share with you a little bit about polar bears. Polar bears are listed as a threatened species under the Endangered Species Act. Um, they have a small population, about 22,000 to 31,000 polar bears that live in the Arctic, the Arctic Ocean, and they do love the sea ice. They are classified as marine mammals because they're such strong swimmers and spend a lot of their time in the water. Um, and they do hunt a lot of their day, about 50% of their day hunting for seals. Um, they can get humongous. They are between 800 and 1300 pounds and they can be between six and nine feet tall. There is a big threat to polar bears. Um, because of climate change, the uh, polar ice is melting, and that is creating a problem because that is their habitat. They are very important um, to the food chains. They are one of the top predators on the food chains, and they also have a very important role in the overall health of the marine environment so they're quite important um, if you are interested you can um, go to this website and um, download this activity booklet if you can see here the booklet um, has a bunch of coloring pages they have some mazes they have um, word finds crossword puzzles so please take advantage of this website. It is from the Endangered uh, Species Organization and they do promote um, Endangered Species Day. There's also a bunch of different craft ideas that you can do with polar bears. I just went on Google and Googled polar bear activities and these are three cute ones that I found, but you can go on Pinterest and have a blast celebrating Endangered Species Day with some crafts. I'm now going to start reading to you the book, Where Do Polar Bears Live? You can check this out of the Hunterdon County Library, in particular, Holland Township Library is where I got this from. Um, so as I start, this island is covered with snow. No trees grow, nothing has green leaves. The land is white as far as you can see. Then there's a small and round black pokes up out of the snow. A black nose sniffs the air. Then a smooth white head appears. A mother polar bear heaves herself out of the den. A cub scrambles after her. When the cub was born four months ago, he was no bigger than a guinea pig. Blind and helpless, he snuggled in his mother's fur. He drank her milk and grew safe from the long Arctic winter. Outside the den, on some days, it was 50 degrees below zero. From October to February, the sun never rose. Now it's spring. Even though snow still covers the land, the cub is about the size of a cocker spaniel. He's ready to leave the den. For the first time, he sees bright sunlight and feels the wind ruffle his hair. The cub tumbles and slides down icy hills. His play makes him strong and teaches him to walk and run in snow. Like his mother, the cub is built to survive in the Arctic. His white fur will grow to be six inches thick, longer than your hand. The skin beneath the cub's fur is black. It soaks up the heat of the sun. Under the skin is a layer of fat. Like a snug blanket, this blubber keeps in the heat of the bear's body. Polar bears get too hot more easily than they get too cold. They stretch out on the ice to cool off. The cub has never seen his father. He never will. Polar bear fathers don't take care of cubs. For two years or a little longer, that will be the mother's job. After a few days near the den, the mother leads her cub onto the frozen sea. Fur between the pads of their paws keeps them from slipping on the ice. 
If the cub gets tired, the mother gives him a ride. Polar bears live in the Arctic, around the North Pole. Some of the Arctic is land. There are cold, rocky islands and stretches of tundra where no trees grow. But a lot of the Arctic is ice. Under the ice, there's cold, dark water. Seals live there. So do the fish and shrimp and crabs that they eat. Fish and shrimp and crabs spend their whole lives underwater, but seals have to come to the surface to breathe. They use the claws on their flippers to scrape away ice, making holes so they can reach the air. The mother polar bear did not eat for months while she was in her den. She has uh, lost hundreds of pounds. Now she needs to hunt. She smells a seal's breathing hole through three feet of snow and settles down to wait. She doesn't twitch a foot or take a step. If the seal hears the smallest sound, it will dart away to another hole. At last, the bear smells the seal. She hooks it with her sharp claw and crushes its skull with her jaws. She drags it up onto the ice. The mother strips away the skin and blubber. A little Arctic fox darts in to snatch a mouthful of the meat. On land, a polar bear might catch a tiny lemming. It might even nibble grass or seaweed. But to survive, polar bears need to catch seals. To catch seals, they must hunt on the ice. Every summer, some of the ice around the Arctic melts. Every winter, it freezes again. But in the last hundred years, the earth has gotten warmer. A little more ice melts each summer. Each winter, the water is slower to freeze back into ice. When ice melts earlier and water freezes later, bears have less time to hunt. They don't eat as many seals. When scientists studied polar bears in Canada, they found that the bears weighed less than they once did. Thinner bears can't have as many cubs, and more of their cubs die before they can grow up to have babies of their own. If the earth keeps getting warmer, the summer ice in the Arctic could melt completely by the time you grow up. When this polar bear cub is full grown, he will be the biggest hunter on land. If he stood on his hind legs, his head would brush the ceiling of your living room. He will weigh as much as three tigers. Each of his footprints in the snow will be wider than a dinner plate. This polar bear is fierce, smart hunter, but he cannot survive with no place to hunt. Without ice, polar bears will become extinct, gone forever. If the ice doesn't stop shrinking, he may be the last polar bear. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please visit Holland Library to check out some books.